How's it going? It's going great. Good. That was just amazing. Thanks. I love to hear you play. I've seen you play several times at different venues. Okay. I'm a singer. Okay. Um, this is my card. Yeah, I, yes. I, I would Eddie. love to sing backup for you anytime. I'll give you a call. Okay. What? Guess what? I booked you a gig. It's at the Speakeasy, a real club that books national acts. So this is a really big deal. Plus, it's out of town. So finally. You've successfully interrupted me again. And how is where I play more important than how I play? Understand? No, I don't understand. You know that song? That's like the second song you ever wrote. You always have the need to tell me something while I'm busy. Shut up and take me out to dinner. I'm not hungry. I'm just gonna stay here and rehearse. And so what, you're gonna make me go eat by myself? Come on, it's my treat to celebrate your first real, your first out of town gig. I don't know. Well, I do know. So let's go put some clothes on and go, cause I'm starving. Ask for anything, Shawnee. Maybe he's too tired to ask. He's yeah, waking the homeless now, he's staring at us. Come on. Yeah. Hi, Eddie. Shawnee. You guys hungry? No, we just like the view of your homeless people outside. Yeah, some menus. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll be right back. Can you at least try to be nice to her? Because she loves him, you know. And she's had a really hard life. So have I. Her husband of 10 years went out to get cigarettes and didn't come back. Now she's raising two kids by herself, one of whom is autistic. You know how to spoil your guys' appetite, don't you? Just, just try to be nice here she comes. Here you go. And Eddie, order anything on the menu. It's on me. I, I saw your show last night. You were really, really good. Really good. Thanks. Um, let me get the spaghetti. Um, this time, cook the noodles in the water. Oh, okay, sure. Uh, no, I won't. Let me see that menu. Hmm. I would like the pasta di la Roma, but with no chicken and no uh, shrimp or anything. Um, excuse me, Susan. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. Vegetarian pasta di la Roma with a water. Okay, got it. All right, I'll be right back with your order. You see that? You need people like her. You mean creepy stalker people? What you've got to understand is that her reality is this place and her kids. She enjoys your music because it, it helps her escape. It's my escape, but I don't have to share it if I don't want to. What? I was wondering, um... Spit it out. Susan, come on. Eddie, I was wondering, would you please sign my shirt? Your shirt, really, Susan? Because I know you're gonna be famous someday, and then that way, I, I would always have something personal. Sign her shirt. She's buying the dinner. You have a pen. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You are so lucky, Shawnee. I, I need to go check on your order. I I'll be right back. Did you see that? I swear she was a bad Well, you didn't have to sign it there. Do that to take a hint of jealousy? Just a little bit? Come on, you know you're about the only person I can still stand. How did Susan put it? Oh yes, I'm so lucky. 
there you go, guys. All right, now if you need anything, anything at all, don't hesitate to ask. Thanks again. Enjoy. This actually looks good this time. I think they actually cooked the noodles. I know. And I think I got some extra Parmesan. See what being nice will get you? Or whatever, it's free anyways. She was being thankful. Is that what you call it? And what, pray tell, do you call it? Creepy, stalker, probably went out of favor. Favor? All you did was sign your name to her breast. I was just a little about her breast. Oh, don't worry. When we get home, I'll sign your breast. Wait. What are you doing? I'm leaving Susan's tip. She said it was her treat. Eddie, you've got to show some appreciation every once in a while. I don't know what's gotten into you lately, but you better snap out of it before you lose everyone who loves you. Hey, drama queen. At least I still love you. What are you looking at, man? Be careful with your words. Careful with my what? You have a sharp tongue. Shut up. Eddie, leave him alone. He has enough problems. He's freaking me out. Your day is coming soon. What did you say? My day is coming? What's that supposed to mean? When it's here, you won't be there. What you doing? Oh, come on now. I'm trying to play. It's a play. Who's stopping you? You're crowding me, Shaw. Fine. It sounds good. <laughs> That's nice. How the hell would you know? I don't have to be a musician to know it sounds good. Well, it might sound good, but it's still not right. Why don't you practice my song? <laughs> Sweetie, that song's old. Nobody wants to hear that. Well, I do. Yeah, I'm, listen, I'm rehearsing for next week's gig. Um, not doing that song. Why not? You haven't done that song in a while. <sighs> haven't been in the mood to play it in a while. Well, why not? Don't you love me? <laughs> Don't I inspire you? Of course I love you. I and just... Then play! Stop! Would you just leave me alone so I can get back to work? Fine. But I would think Inspiration. Right now, you're less of an inspiration and more of an interruption. That's just plain mean. Eddie. Who said I was nice? I'm starting to get that. Really? Well, can you get it from the other room? Can you get it from the other room? Do you listen to yourself? I'm trying to, but you won't even let me think. If everyone left you alone like you wanted, you'd be lost. I would love to be lost and alone right now so I can get back to work. I'm tired of trying and being the only one who is trying. Be alone. Be alone, Eddie. Be alone. Finally. <laughs>
Yes, Mike. Can you open the door, man? That their apartment's been empty in at least six months. Oh, shit. Not you so, too, Mike. I'd appreciate it if you'd step away from right there. Door. Oh. You and me's gonna have us a little problem. Come on, Mike. Open the damn door. Well, you better stop calling me by my first name and step away from that there door. What's wrong with you, Mike? Open the door. Boy, you don't listen very well, do you? Our love was high, but it cooled down. Yeah, as a matter of fact, baby, you're as cold as ice right now. I'm not gonna waste my time and try to bring you back. Last time, great. Sir, I don't know what you're talking about, but we don't give away free food here. Come on, Susan, I'll sign another shirt. I'll do anything. Just give me some food. I'm hurt here, okay? Sir, I don't know where they let you sign shirts for free food, but we don't do that here. What do you mean you don't remember? The other day you were practically drooling for my autograph, and now you don't remember me? Nobody remembers me today. I don't know you. I've never seen you before in my life. All right, that's it. Shawnee got to you, right? This no. is some big joke on me. So if you'll go in the back and get me some food like a good little girl, that would be great. Mister. Oh, and then call Shawnee? Hey, tell the joke's over. Mister, you're starting to really scare me. I think I'm going to have to ask you to leave. You love me, remember? Are you the crazy man that's been yelling at Susie? Have a bad day. It ain't over yet. Hey, you, homeless dude. You, you talking to me? Yeah, man, look, I'm sorry. It's been kind of having a bad day. People have supposedly know me, assaulting me. I'm and... sure you deserve it. What's that supposed to mean? If you talk to everyone else the way that you talk to me, then you did. Hey, look, man, I said I'm sorry. Don't you see I'm hurt here? I'm tired. It's about to rain. Think I can crash in your box this evening? My Figure what? this thing out. What? What did you say? I asked if I could crash in your box. Yeah. If all I have is a box, how could I possibly help someone else? If I had a home, you know, a place to call my own, then maybe I could help. I can extend some kind of assistance. Now, if you would excuse me, the weather's starting to turn. Hey, 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 all right, what? all right. It's a real nice house you got here. But this whole thing, it's not much, but it makes a great start out. Man, this is crazy. Not much a crazy person can do for you, huh? All right, listen. You ever think about maybe uh, upgrading? Get a bigger place? No, I could never sell. Too much sentimental attachment. You want to check out the inside? The weather's starting to get bad. 
Glad to see what you've done with the place. Uh, see, I've kept it pretty simple. Uh, I'll wipe your wet feet on the good rug. Thank you. This is Persian, right? <laughs> yeah, good eye. Hey, man. Is that your family in those pictures? Yep, those are my children. I have many children. Hey, why do you have to be such an astro? What? You are so talented. You have such poetry in your music that you yourself write. It has to come from somewhere personal, right? Number one, none of your business. Number two, public. Gonna continue to have days like today. Don't plan on it. I doubt it. It will change. Hmm. So you went out of town to play and they screwed you. That doesn't mean that you give up or you become bitter towards all those that care about you. Yeah, I was pissed off about that. But let me tell you something, man. You don't know me. And you don't know what I've been through in my life. It caused pain or loneliness, right? And when I feel that, I just close my doors and go inside. That's where the music comes from. Are you happy? There, I told you. Now, got a question for you. How do you know so much about me? I just know. I know that you grew up dreaming of becoming a national act. And now that you're older and bitter about what might have been. I'm what? <laughs> yeah. Why don't you just enjoy what you have, man? And stop hiding behind the cords. Now, go to sleep, man. The good news is that you can start over every day, having learned from the day before. Hey. Who are you? Mm -mm. Not important. But if you want to call me something, call me Rick. Rick. Yep. Yeah, Susan. Do you remember me? Yes, Eddie, I remember you. Good. Listen, I just wanted to say I'm sorry for the way I behaved in your restaurant the other day. I just brought by a couple of passes for the venue. So if you want to come and see me or any of the other artists there, it's my little way of saying thank you. Wow, thank you, Eddie. Thank you so much. Sure, sure, Susan. You're awesome. You take care, all right? You too. All right, take care of that kid. Thanks. Good luck to you.
wrapped up in me Now every time I'm feeling down and swearing up and down I'm not so tough She holds me close as boy I'm gonna make you right at home That's why I'll never be in love Your show's pretty great
Dream. 